Hello YouTubers and welcome to the final episode of Season 1 of Flashback Friday. Today we're going to take a look at Submarine Finn McMissile with Hydrofoils from Cars 2. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> during the beginning of Cars 2, when Finn McMissile was escaping Grim and Acer on the boat. He then tr faked his death by diving himself into the ocean in, and turned himself into a submarine and popped out two wheels from his trunk, forcing the lemons to including Professor Z, to believe that Finn McMissile was dead. Of course, they thought wrong. And during his diecast releases, he was released as a deluxe as part of the 2016 Oil Rig Getaway series, and has not been released as a regular deluxe ever since. So, if you have... Finn McMissile with hydrofoils, then good for you. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So, here we've got his breather and his water wings and his headlights and his grill, which represents as a mustache and the the M logo. No tampos on the hood, and his silver blue I exterior. No tampos on the side. No front. The front wheels are covered, but the back wheels are shown, which are used for the submarine's propellers. And on the back side, we've got the tail lights and the chrome gray bumper and the license plate saying 314 FMCM on. And on the trunk, we've got another M, letter M logo, and the fins, the tail fins raised up. And we've also got the front view mirrors. And underneath, it says we have Disney Pixar, made in China, DHL06, Mattel. And now let's compare him to the regular Finn McMissile. So, that's better. So, here are some similarities and differences. Both are Finn McMissile, and both are Chrome Agents. Regular Finn McMissile, Submarine Finn McMissile, Smiling expression, mouth covered by hide by breather. Both have the headlights and the chrome black grill, and I mean the black grill for the mustache and the letter M. And both are an Aston Martin DB5, which is similar to the one that James Bond 007 drives in the James Bond films. And speaking of James Bond film, take note that this is that Finn McMissile's submarine transformation is similar to the 1976 Lotus Esprit S1 submarine transformation in the James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me. Now anyhow, front wheels, no front wheels. Front wheels sideways, front wheels on the back, water wings, no water wings. Tail fins raised down, tail fins raised up. Both have the red tail lights on the back and the chrome gray bumper and the license plate 314 FMCM. No tamp 
and the letter M on the trunk. No tampos anywhere. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other other spies. We've got Holly Shiftwell, Rod Torque Redline, Mater, Spy or No Spy, Lightning McQueen, and Francesco Bernoulli, and some of the other Aston Martin vehicles. We've got Nigel Gearsley, who is a DBR9, and Cruz Ramirez, who I believe to be a 2005 V8 Vantage. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which spy is your favorite? Which version of Finn McMissile is your favorite? And which Aston Martin vehicle is your favorite also? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I guess this is a... And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. So, I guess this wraps up for Season 1 of Flashback Friday. So... Hopefully I'll get some cars that have been released only one time, then I can start on Season 2, and some for 25 days of Cars Diecasts in the next three months, like the Christmas cars, for example. So, goodbye now!